Hi, and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner, and today I'm going to continue work with my codingwithjesse.com site. Uh, at the end of the last video, I got kind of stuck because my when I submit to add a new post, it, does, it didn't redirect to where I want to go with the location. And according to this Stack Overflow page, it's because I should be using location instead of my set header. Um, so, instead of this nonsense, I'm going to go location. And I assume that means I don't need the send. So, let's refresh. I'll go back and add a third post here. Third post. Third post. This is the third post. Did it, did it, did it. Add post and should redirect. No, no, it does not. Oh well. So, but let's see what uh, response dot location or location here. Let's see what the example looks like. So. Maybe I do still need that send. It's possible. Maybe I can just leave it empty. I don't know. Let's try it. So response dot send. Um, I'll refresh. And it what did it work? I don't know. Test test again. Testing again. And post. What? What did it do? Just stopped. So if I scroll down, do I see my location? Did the location? Why doesn't it redirect? Why doesn't it redirect? Um, I don't know. It's very weird. Could it be like? factor of the stuff I'm doing. If I go back do this again. Just get stuck. It's very weird. If I go on my console, is there any clues? Nope. 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 So why wouldn't why wouldn't it redirect? Is it, should I use redirect instead of location? Maybe that works better. What does that do? Does a 302 found? Hmm. Okay, we can try that. Try that. Redirect. Um, duplicate entry, yep, yep, yep. So we go back one more time. Close that down, and then, yes. Okay, that works. I'm not sure what location does. I mean, I thought location did like the same thing as redirect, but not sure. If you have an idea, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm gonna be happy that it kind of works. So we're on the list page, and there's nothing here. So what I wanna do right now is bring up the at least the titles or something like that. So to do the Ajax, basically I want to hit this API post. So I'm going to install jQuery and use its Ajax feature. So I'll go npm install jQuery, save that. And then on my, um, which page? This list page. This is where there will be a list. I guess I'll do it in a table. So I'll we'll have a table uh, with a header, title, and then maybe action. We'll have like, uh, or let's say date. I don't know. Uh, close that. So what I'll need to do here, I want to have like a list of the posts. So 
Dang it, I don't have the post here yet. So I need to pass them in somehow. Um, so what I could do is turn this into a stateful um, React component, and that'll let me load the list of posts as state. And I think that's, I think that'll be fine. There's other ways to do it, but like I could load it from my homepage kind of thing, but, and pass it in kind of from the root. But I think it'll be easier that it only loads when we're on the list page itself. Um, yeah, let's just do it that way. So export default, instead of this, this will end up being a render function. And I'm going to do it as a uh, class, I think. I haven't really, I haven't used the React classes yet. So let's see, React class, how do you do it? I'm not actually sure that classes are supported in the version of Node.js I'm using. So we'll find out in a moment. So it should extend. So it'd be like class, my component name extends react.component. Okay. Extends react.component. So my class name here is list, I guess, or post list. Doesn't really matter. And then in here I'll have a render function and it'll return this HTML or JSX. And actually, let's just start with that. Let's just make sure this is working. So if I refresh, it's not working. That's why it's good to check. OK, I got some errors. My error is unexpected token. So I probably missed a something. Let's see, parentheses match. These guys match. Oh, this should be uh, curly. OK, let's refresh. Yep, so I got my table doesn't look pretty but it's there and so what I can do is that is add a component did mount method and now I'll load posts from a or via Ajax let's say and to do that I'm going to load the jQuery uh, the jQuery I'm gonna load jQuery I'm going to use it I'm gonna go dollar dot get I'm going to load admin slash, what was it, API slash posts. And then I'm going to get back the posts, I hope. And then I'm going to, um, actually, let's do it as a fat arrow function, because that lets me have access to this to refer to the class to the component instead of the this meaning jQuery. So I'll be able to, I should be able to go this.setState, posts, and let's just do it like that. That's the new ES6 style. So um, actually, I don't even need that. And then I don't need this. I can just do it like that. So that's kind of clean. Maybe too clean. Maybe it's hard to read. I don't know. But it's short. I don't even need these parentheses. That looks kind of neat, right? Maybe? No? I don't know. So does it work? Well, I don't know. I didn't get an error. But how about in here, what I'll do is um, this dot state dot posts, which is going to be empty when it first draws. So what I got to do is like check for it. So if they're there, actually let's do it a different way. I'll do it here. So posts is either this.state.post or an empty array. So if it hasn't loaded yet, we'll just use an empty array. And then in here I can do post.map. And what I'm going to do is map it to be right now. Not a paragraph, but let's do a row with a TD, two TDs, and a TR, and 
basically I want my title to be in here. So post dot title, I think. Is that could it be that easy? No. Nope. Cannot read property post of null. Oh okay. It's because there's no even this dot state. So I'll do this dot state and this dot state dot post or empty array. No? Yeah, I can see my post right here. That's pretty cool. If I put in the date in here, post dot was it date? Maybe? It's gonna refresh. No? Yeah? Refresh? No. There's no post dot date. Um what was it called? Well, I can just look at my add. Oh, I didn't even have date. Well, that's the problem. Do I have date in the database? Um, yeah, it was here. Post it at. So I need post it at. Uh, getting lost here. List posted at. Now, uh, if I go back, it's going to auto refresh, I think. No. Nope. There. There's the date. Not really pretty, but it is the date. I can do dot to locale string. I think we'll make it a little bit readable. Refresh. No. Um. I don't know. I'm just going to leave that off for now. We can make that prettier later. But yeah, I got the listing to show up. I can make this a little bit easier to read, maybe. Format it a bit by putting in a parenthesis like that. And just make sure it's still working. Yeah. So I need to, I guess next step will be making these links so that I can go in and at least view, if not edit, the post. Definitely I need to be able to edit the post. So next step will be editing and then saving that back to the server. So thanks for watching.